with my hair slicked back like this but whatever hey guys welcome to a new vlog and happy new year it is january 1st 2022 2021 just got the hell up out of here which you know what it's all good i won't miss her even though i had a really good year and a very very strong finish if you follow follow me here then you know that i recently got a new job that I actually start on monday one that i really wanted i'm actually still waiting to hear back from another job i should hear within the first week or so uh, of january so the year ended really strong for me um and you know just overall it was a good year i didn't have any major like letdowns or setbacks um but i did have some really good accomplishments like i said i got a new job i got into therapy which has been helping so much sort of like niche down on what i want to do here on youtube and on social media have been growing on tiktok so stuff that i've been wanting to happen um it's happening slowly but the movement that i hadn't been seeing in previous years and in like previous avenues that I've tried to take to get into like you know influencing or whatever the case may be which I don't know well I'll write about that later but um yeah so it was a pretty good year for me I can't really complain um so yeah it's January 1st so I have been doing first day of a new year things as you saw in the opening of the vlog I got up bright and early this morning and did some cleaning that's still in fan I wasn't taking that dirty ceiling fan into 2022 with me. So I got up at 7 o'clock a.m. on the dot. And the first thing that I did was get a wet rag and get the dust off of that ceiling fan because it was disgusting. And then I did a bunch of other cleaning around um, the house. Um, I pretty much cleaned everything. Tomorrow I'm probably going to do laundry. And that'll be like all of everything that needed to be cleaned around the house i've been sort of like purging my closet purging stuff around the house because i am moving in uh the end of april beginning of may my lease is up here april 30th and i am out of this building so you know i'm also looking for a new apartment right now or i'm starting the process of like looking for an apartment so a lot of exciting stuff um coming up starting a new job planning to move you know this is picking up like i'm getting emails for you know collaborations and stuff like that so a lot of exciting things coming anyway so after i um cleaned up i went to the gym because you know you got to start the new year with a good workout this time of year where i refocus my workout to more like strength training and weightlifting. i like to bulk up this time of year because you know it's starting to get too cold like we're having a snowstorm right now um it's starting to get too cold to do my running outside so i'm cutting back on like running cardio doing more weightlifting, as you saw um in the gym so yeah i'm gonna switch up my workout routine a little bit um and then i stopped in um Ulta because I needed to get a couple of things like I needed to read up on a couple things so you saw me pick these up when I was in Ulta uh, this you should if you've been following my channel uh, long enough then you should be familiar with this I can't get it to focus but this is the La Roche Posay hydrating gentle cleanser this is my third repurchase of this absolutely love this so this is probably going to be like my holy grail face wash super mild super gentle but it's really good at cleansing your face and then I am still in the hunt for a good vitamin C serum oil 
cream, whatever the case may be. So I'm trying the Acure Brightening Vitamin C Sunset Serum. I use um, a face scrub by them that I absolutely love. So I figured why not try another product of theirs. This isn't, this isn't a serum or a cream. It's sort of like a, it's not like a gel. It's almost like pomade. I used it earlier today and I like the consistency. I liked how it blended with um, my moisturizer, the good ceramide cream that I've been using on my skin. So, you know, first impression, I liked it well enough. We'll see if it makes any difference um, in my skin. And then I got some cotton browns. So that's all that I picked up from Ulta. Like I said, just re-upping on some things that I um, had run out of. Then I stopped up Hot Belly and got a sandwich because I'm, I was too lazy to make lunch. And then I came home and chilled around for a little bit. So the rest of the vlog is going to be one haul. So I'm about to do a haul, like a collective haul of outerwear. I recently made a big old purchase of outerwear. I mentioned it in my last video. I spent right under $2,000 on outerwear. I bought four pieces of outerwear, two pieces from Shopbop, two pieces from Farfetch. And if you follow me on TikTok or my um, Instagram, which you should be, right then you've probably seen each piece individually but I wanted to make sure that I put it all in um, a video because not everybody follows me on socials not everybody is on social some people are just strictly YouTube people so I'm going to do a little haul now that's why we're in the closet and then I downloaded a couple apps that I'm using to help me stay organized and focused this year um, that I want to share with you and then I want to share something that I am doing in lieu of a vision board with you all um, and I think it's a really good idea it's something that I saw on TikTok when I did my own research and really liked the idea of maybe doing this instead of a vision board and it's like an activity where you do like a quarterly or where I will be doing like a quarterly check-in with myself um on the goal setting that I do in this activity so I thought it would be a good thing to share on the first day of the year in a vlog so let's get into this haul though let's see if we can get the lighting right it's it's just it's dark it's a dark and gloomy day um in Chicago let's see this is gonna have to be good enough. Okay, so let's start off with this puffer here because I had it on earlier, so it's out. And I'll put a picture on the screen so you can get a, a better view of what it looks like. So this is a puffer by a brand called Alpha Industry. So I looked it up because I had never heard of it before. It's out of Knoxville, Tennessee, so it's an American-made brand. And essentially, it was like a, a, a contractor with the U.S. Department of Defense, like they like made garments for the military. Um, and then they started selling like military-style like apparel just to the masses um so anyway they sell it on shop bob and i was looking for something that i could wear um like to the gym to keep warm when i'm walking because y'all know i'm drive um or just like when i'm going to the grocery store or whatever it was on sale it was originally like 180 dollars i got it for 120 dollars it looked warm enough so i picked it up y'all this coat is so warm. I did not, I don't know what I expected, but I did not expect for it to be this warm. It's a short puffer. Let me lower the camera a little bit. So it's a short puffer. So it goes right at the waist. But like, look at how puffed. Is that the right term? I don't know. But look at how like much stuffing or down or whatever is in this coat is in this coat and it is so warm and i even just like the style of the coat i think it looks like super sleek this was like a happy surprise like i like the jacket that's why i bought it but i didn't know that there go that ghetto there we're gonna be ghetto that that heater i knew that i liked it that's why i bought it but girl i didn't know it was gonna do what it was supposed to do like it's doing is all i'm saying so this is the first coat that i got i got it off of shop bop okay sticking with shop bop probably my favorite coat in the haul i ain't gonna even hold y'all i also got from shop bop so i got two pieces from shop bop two pieces from um farfetch and this coat is a macage coat so she's expensive honey well she was expensive well she I, it was still i still paid a lot of money for it but she was worth a whole lot more so it was on sale uh the original price for this coat was 950 dollars, and i got it for five 70 i can't remember off the top of my head um but i'll put a picture up on the screen so you can get a um really close look but listen this coat right here y'all this is the coat that i bought um to be warm but also like stylish when i go out you know what i'm saying so like if i wear heels and i dress up but it's hella cold outside and i need to stay warm this is what I got this coat for. So it has this cute collar that folds over like this, or you could wear it up like that if you're feeling fancy. 
let me lower the camera a little more and then at the waist it ties i hope you can see that it looks a little dark but um at the waist it ties and then it sort of flares out at the bottom and then it has this macage like emblem on the sleeve and it's one of those things where like if you know you know and if you don't know it just looks like i got a big m on my sleeve but i absolutely love the fit and the flare and the style of this coat and it's super warm and it's gonna look good with like sleek dressed up outfits with like boots and stuff like that so i had to get something like this i'm obsessed i'm obsessed favorite when i say that this stuff does not fit in my closet i'm on a struggle bus okay i also really love this coat this is a coat that i picked up by Ghani. Y'all know how much I love Ghani. If you've been on my channel long enough, you know that I've purchased a few pieces from them over the past year. Um, it's one of my favorite brands at the moment. And this is what I call my big boy because I have been in Chicago for almost seven years now and I have yet to buy a big coat. And girl, the time is now. I need to quit playing with Chicago winners. Obviously, I'm not going nowhere anytime soon. So it was just time. So the top of the coat, it looks a lot like the macage um, where it has like that like wide uh, fold over collar. The cool thing about this coat is that it has a detachable like padded scarf on it that you can, hold on, I'm struggling, that you can wear and I just, oh, I love how that looks. That looks so clean. Let me get buttoned up so I can show y'all the entire coat. Okay, so I didn't button it in its entirety because lazy, but this is the coat. Um, it goes right like at my calves, a little bit under my calves. It has like a little slit here on the side, that make it easy uh, to make it easy to walk. It has like the side pockets here that goes this way. I love when pockets go up and down like that. I don't, I don't know if that's like the appropriate term for it, but I love when pockets are made that way. So again, this coat is by Gunny, and I believe it was like five seventy five or something like that. I'm gonna be putting the like the stuff on the screen for accuracy but yeah also really really obsessed with this purchase as well okay and then the last piece and it probably gives the macage a run for its money for my favorite piece i don't know but it's something that i have been saying that i need to get on this channel since i started it and it's a leather jacket y'all smell so good so i Finally, finally, finally bought a good investment leather jacket. And I picked one up from Sandro Paris. I don't know if you can see that. And I got it on Farfetch. So this is a 100% lambskin um, leather jacket. And it is um, lined with 100% um, cotton material on the inside. And it has silver hardware. It is a moto style jacket um, cropped and it is everything that I needed. I actually sized up. It is in Parisian sizing because Sandro is Sandro Paris, right? Um, so it comes in like one, two, three, four, like that type of sizing. So I would typically be a size three um, in Parisian, per Parisian sizes, which is a size eight US, but I sized up to a size four, which is a 10 US because my arms are long and you know, I want a room to wear it with sweaters and things like that. So like I have on a, a sweater right now and it fits perfectly inside of this jacket. Um, so yeah, this is the jacket up close. I haven't even taken all of the paper off of it because it's so soft and delicate i just want to protect it until i get ready to wear it so as i said it has silver hardware it is a cropped moto style jacket look at the back the back is my absolute favorite it has like this paneling in the back which is just like so cool it adds so much character to this jacket has like the shoulder flap so it gives that real moto feel and i'm just absolutely 100 obsessed with it and i'm so happy that i waited and found something that i absolutely wanted when i saw this on farfetch i was like that's it i don't need to look any further that is it that is my leather jacket that i have been needing to buy for the last two three years and this is it so we're gonna buy it and i did um so this was 595 dollars. so yeah i will put the link for this jacket and all of the other coats that i showed you below in case you want to blow a couple stacks like i did let me tell y'all <laughs> so i paid my credit card a couple of days ago with the with these purchases on it and i had to say a little prayer for myself because i almost fainted i almost fainted on top of the charges for christmas gifts so just like you, it was a lot a whole lot
so it's a little later in the evening it's about 8 20 i'm literally sitting in my like in the middle of my bed <laughs> i have y'all propped up on a pillow um but i am working on this like goal setting thing that i was telling y'all about um so i figured i'd go ahead and um pull out the camera and share it with you all and wrap this vlog up i am sleepy i don't know if you can see it in my eyes but I'm sleepy. Um, so first let's start with a couple of productivity apps that I downloaded to help me out. So two things that I use on my iPhone all the time is the notes app and the little reminders app. And they both have limited capabilities for what they can do, but I rely on them heavily. So what I wanted to do is find apps that were not complicated. Like I'd be seeing the girls on TikTok with like their digital journals and their like digital calendars and stuff like that. And it's just, they be drawing it and stuff. I didn't want any of that. I just wanted something that was a step up from the traditional notes app and reminders app that comes on the iPhone. So the first thing that I downloaded is an app called Structure and it's basically a digital planner. And so it's really simple and really easy to use. And I just sort of schedule my day out by hours within the app. And you're able to do that by week, by month, by day. Um, and it's really simple to use and it's free. And then you can pay a $4.99 one-time charge to get access to all of the other little elements. So I schedule my weekdays out to the T um, starting on the third because that's when we go back to work. Um, so I schedule my like wake up time. I schedule like my worship and morning prayer uh the time that i prepare for my workout the time that i need to be out the door to the gym the the time frame that i can be in the gym when i need to be at home getting ready for work my actual work hours i have scheduled out in there post-work activities so that can include um like answering emails pertaining to youtube or tiktok or you know whatever the case may be taking a phone call that i need to take um i have dinner scheduled um, any other miscellaneous activities that I uh, that I need to do within, um, you know, after dinner and before my reading hour, which is also in here, then, you know, an additional like prayer and gratitude um, time slot in there and then sleep. So my entire day is scheduled out for the week, every week. Um, so yeah, this app, it's called Structured. Again, it's free in the App Store, $4.99 for additional access or for access to additional um like little tools within there and that's a one-time charge and then i also downloaded an app called notability and it's basically a notes app but it has so many different features and functions you can do all of the little drawing stuff and all of that so like the notes app on your iphone you have multiple notes within the app what i really like about this app is that it has this voice function so you can actually leave yourself voice notes within the notes which i think is pretty cool you can insert attachments and pictures and links for like sources and things like that um so i created a uh note on december the 28th and it's on the eight dimensions of wellness which is going to be the model that i use for goal setting for this year and we'll get into that in a minute so and when i was doing my research what i did is i sort of read out um the definition of the eight dimensions of wellness just in a way that it makes sense to me um, and then I started to take notes um, and I am a person that takes copious amounts of notes. So uh, we have a few pages of notes. There you see a um, attachment or image that I was able to put into the notes. That is the wellness wheel and that's something that I am going to be using um, for goal setting this year that I'm gonna share with you in a minute. And then I cited my sources. So I really like this. And as I said, there are a bunch of, buncher? There are a bunch of features that you can use. Like if you click on that T, that gives you different options like writing, highlighting, you know, you can scribble, you can insert a picture. So all of your options are there. So it's a pretty cool app. This was free. I didn't pay any additional money for any of those tools. Um, so yeah, those are going to be the two organizational tools or productivity tools that I'm going to be using this year. So essentially the eight dimensions of wellness are eight aspects of wellness that we should be focusing in on, um, to have a healthy, balanced, well-rounded life. And you don't necessarily have to pay equal amounts of attention to all, but they are all aspects of wellness that we should be taking stock of where we, we're at with it and be putting effort into it. So the eight dimensions are physical, intellectual, um, emotional, and or mental, social, spiritual, occupational, um, financial, and, and environmental. So those are the eight um, dimensions of wellness. Um, and so what the wellness wheel is, is essentially it 
has all of the eight dimensions. Actually, let me do a clear one because my business is on that. But basically, and I don't know if you can see that clearly, it has all eight of the dimensions in this like circle here. And what you do is you use this key and this key uh, is listed from one to five. One being, I am extremely unhappy in this area um, and I need to get to work. And then five is I'm extremely content and I don't need to do nothing. And then you have like two where I'm unhappy, but I haven't hit rock bottom. You have three where it's like, this part of my life is pretty good, but I need to, you know, improve. And then you have four where it's like, I'm content, but there are still areas where I can get better, right? So those are the, like the four um, scoring, the four scores, five scores. Those are the five scores, basically. Um, and so what you do with this wheel is you score your current level of happiness in um, each area from a scale to one, for, on a scale from one to five. My God, I cannot talk. What I did is I went through each of these and I just circled where I felt like I was at on them and I wrote little notes like this is why I am here and to get to five where I'm completely content, this is what it would take. So essentially what I plan to do is fill out one of these each quarter. So I filled out one tonight. Um, it's here. Like I said, all of my business is on it. So we're not going to show you that one, but I filled out in each area where I am. I am really happy to say that I am a lot of threes and fours. I don't have any five because I'm not like everything needs improvement in my life. Right. Um, but I, I, I have a lot of, um, four, threes and fours, which are, you know, I'm content, but I need to do some work, which I knew except for a financial wellness. That's a two. Cause girl, I ain't hit rock bottom, but we got some work to do um, in that area. So essentially what I did is went and circled where I was at um, on each of these, wrote little notes like I'm here because of this. These are the improvements that I made previously to get to five or if I'm at three to get to four, this is what I need. So what I'm gonna do is in April, that's April or May, that starts quarter two, right? I'm going to um, fill out another one and see how far I've come from Q1. And then in Q3, I'm gonna do the same thing. In Q4, I'm gonna do the same thing. And then at the end of the year, I can look at all four of these to see you know, where I started and where I ended up. So I just thought that that was a good um, goal setting practice um, as opposed to like doing a vision board or something like that. To be quite honest, I'm not a glue pictures on a board type person I've tried. Like I literally on my desk back there, you probably can't see cause it's dark and grainy, but on my desk back there, I have a red bag and it's all the, the images that I clipped out of magazines last year and never, never, never put them on a board, right? So I had to find something different um, for goal setting. And I actually saw this on a, a girl's page that I follow on TikTok. She wasn't necessarily doing it this exact way. She had a, a different way that she was approaching the eight dimensions of wellness. But she mentioned the eight dimensions of wellness. I had never heard of it before. I thought it was interesting. So I wanted to go do my own research. And then I found this wellness will and just felt like this works better for me um, than the, the uh, process that she was taking, even though it's pretty much the same. It's the same concept. So yeah, if you found that interesting, I will leave the name of both of the productivity apps in the um, description box. And I will also drop the links to the sources that I use to research um, the eight dimensions of wellness, as well as a link to the wellness wheel if you're interested in filling out um, one for yourself. I think that's gonna wrap up this vlog. I'm going to finish editing it and get it ready to come out on tomorrow. I am so exhausted. I am so sleepy. Um, yeah, day one of 2022 in the books already. We rocking and rolling. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you give this video a like, leave a comment. Uh, make sure that if you enjoy my vibe and that you are subscribed to my channel, we are very close to hitting a thousand subscribers, which is exciting. We are less than 200 people away. So thank you to everyone who has already subscribed. Again, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.